Welcome to Whiskey Whims. My name's Stuart. Let's get down to it. Today, I'm going to uh, spark a little bit of controversy in 2020 and try and decide whether or not Irish whiskey is good. Now, obviously, being Scottish, I might have a little bit of bias on this, but we'll uh, let the whiskey talk for itself. So, a couple months ago, Phil from Causeway Coast Whiskey Reviews uh, .com, I believe it is. I'll link his um, blog or his reviews in the description. Uh, he sent me some Irish whiskies uh, samples over because I'd told him that I was struggling to find a, an Irish whisky that was agreeing with me or something that I, I, I was kind of enjoying. He also does uh, some articles for Malt Review. Uh, I'll link some of his Irish ones that he's done in the description below as well and you can check out what he thinks. I'll also link his Instagram. Uh, sure most of you already know who he is but I'll link his Instagram and you can see um, some of his stuff, some of his content. So he sent me quite a few samples to be honest um, and I'm very grateful for how many samples he sent me. One was uh, Dingle Single Malt Batch 2 and I finished this last night, 46.5% and I wrote yuck on it. <laughs> um, initially I really enjoyed this but it might have been what I was drinking beforehand. Uh, I found this quite, yeah, quite enjoyable but for some reason last night I found it disgusting. Uh, so that's obviously the, the the issue with whiskey sometimes. One day you can find it amazing, the next you can find it absolutely horrible. So I didn't want to kind of go through this whiskey today uh, because it was just too indecisive for me. But that was one. Uh, another was the, I believe it's Lawn Mara Peated. Single malt, 40%. That was quite enjoyable, uh, reminiscent of uh, obviously I luck in a style due to the peating, uh, peatiness of it. However, it wasn't obviously on par with Isla whiskies, but still actually one of the more enjoyable uh, whiskies. Another Powers Three Swallows Single Pot Still forty percent ABV. This one I did not enjoy uh, <laughs> very much. It was not up to because um, I, I I seem to be basing these off Scottish standards or Scottish whiskey since I'm a Scottish whiskey drinker and I just didn't think that was up to Scotch standard. Um, as an Irish whiskey I'm not sure because I'm not an Irish whiskey expert. However the one previous was brilliant and it could probably compete with Scotch whiskey. Another is the uh, Powers 12 year old John's Lane single pot still 46%. This definitely was a contender as well. It was um, more robust uh, than the other whiskies. The other Irish whiskies seem to be quite flat almost in a sense, quite one dimensional. Uh, however, this seemed to be more spirit driven and yeah, there was a lot more flavor there with this. Unfortunately, I enjoyed it so much. Um, I finished it before I could actually uh, put my notes down and review it. So there was definitely a contender and this one for Scotch. The next three I have um, our Bushmills uh, 12 year old, I believe he also sent me a Bushmills 10 uh, but we'll talk, discuss that. Red Breast 12 year old, uh, single pot still 40%, the Bushmills is 40% and it's a distillery exclusive. And a rest, Red Breast, Rest Breast, Red Breast 15 year old and that's bottled at 46% single pot still. I also got sent an Aldi's 26 year old I think, it was quite nice, um, there wasn't much, I wouldn't have said it was 26 year old, it was a nice whiskey, but it didn't seem like a, 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 a kind of old or aged whiskey really, it just seemed uh, kind of maybe 12 or 15 year old, but it was still nice, and Phil also sent me a, a sample of whiskey that he's curated and aged himself, and that was harsh initially but with uh, plenty of water it was lovely um, and I didn't even know it was his and it is a really good whiskey. So anyway we'll get down to nosing and tasting these three and 
we'll decide whether or not based on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, based on 10 whiskies, if Irish whiskey is good or not. So the first up, Bushmills 12 year old, 40% uh, ABV, it's a distillery reserve, uh, you can only get it from distillery, it's £42 and it's triple distilled. It's very fruity, uh, peaches, mango, some sherry there, banana and raisins from the, possibly the sherry influence. Not unlike, on the nose, not unlike a Scotch whisky at all. The palate. Now, I feel the palates where Scotch whisky and Irish whisky differs, um, with exception of the Powers, was it? Yes, with the exception of the Powers 12 year old, the uh, Powers 12 year old was more robust in the palate. The Bush Mills 12 is quite flat, um, but it's light, uh, it's delicate. There's all spice, some spiced orange, more raisins on the palate as well, um, and some hazelnut towards the end. But overall, it's it's light, it's delicate, it's like I said, it's almost flat. Um, there's no oomph as I described. There's nothing uh, kind of pushing through. There's nothing that, nothing really to get excited about. It's just nice. Um, you can easily drink this on a summer's day. It's easy drinking. It's it's quite um, enjoyable sipping. Uh, but there's just nothing to draw you towards it. I didn't actually prefer this over the 10. I thought the 10 was a lot more enjoyable. Um, and £42, it's not bad for £42, but being for a, a distillery exclusive, you'd think they'd be trying to offer something a bit more, um, well, exclusive, a bit more uh, enticing to someone who's going to visit the distillery. Instead, you trek or say, I, I made the, uh, the pilgrimage, to Bush Mills, I'd be disappointed getting getting this as the distillery exclusive. I'd actually rather just get their 10. So it's good to know that. Um, but yeah, their 10 completely smashed this. Uh, the 12 is nowhere near as good for me. Red Breast, 12 year old, single pot still, 40% ABV. 40 pound you can pick this up for. Once a grain, it's fruity on the nose. There's some citrus, some melon. Ginger and also a, a nuttiness. Once again, like I said, I keep saying once again. Um, I don't think you could uh, distinguish this between a Scotch just on the nose. Well, at the level of, um, how would I say, wisdom or whiskey knowledge that I have, I don't think I could distinguish this solely on the nose. It all comes down to the palate. Once again, soft and delicate. Once again, once again. Soft and delicate. There's a, a spiciness. Um, some marzipan, sherry and dried fruits again that goes with the, the sherry. Um, or the sherry that I can taste. This is enjoyable. Uh, I think I'd have a bottle of this in the collection. If I ever come across it for £40, I might actually just pick it up. It's almost similar to the Bush Mills in the fact that it's um, delicate, it's soft, it's one-dimensional, flat. But there's something a little different in this, and I don't know what it is. Um, it's only 40%, which is surprising. I'm not usually one to go for 40% whiskey, but this is quite nice. Um, something has got me uh, intrigued in it. And I'd like to spend more time with a full bottle to see what fla more flavours I can pick out. Yeah, it's definitely better than the Bushmills uh, 12. Um, but I don't believe it's better than the Bushmills 10 from memory. Finally, is the Red Breast 15 year old single pot still bottled at 46% ABV. Straight away you can tell it's a higher percentage, 
higher than the others because there is a prickle on the nose. Spicy cinnamon, figs and sticky dates. It's quite nice on the nose. Uh, the palate. Not as spicy on the palate as the nose. Um, I wonder if because of the age, I'm getting a lot of oak wood, uh, a lot of oakiness, oakiness in this uh, palette. So I wonder if because of the age, it's drawn more oak from the cask. There's a, a sweetness, uh, a fudge sweetness, melon, and also chocolate. I would describe this with the nose, and the palate combined, I'd describe, describe this uh, similar to a bourbon. Um, I mean, people might not agree with me on this, people who are actual uh, Irish whiskey drinkers, but for me, this, this seems like a bourbon almost. Not as um, harsh or chemically um, synthetic feeling as a bourbon on the nose, uh, which I seem to get all the time with bourbons. They always uh, give me this kind of varnishy smell. But... It, this is like a good bourbon, I'd say. <laughs> if someone was to tell me this was a bourbon, I'd say, oh yeah, I, I, I enjoy that bourbon. <laughs> um, as a whiskey on its own, it's, it's nice, it is nice. But for me, for some reason, I prefer the uh, the 12 year old, the younger whiskey and the less ABV, which is quite surprising. Um, the age doesn't really matter to me. Uh, however, the ABV, I, I would have assumed that I would pick the higher ABV. It is nice, but like I said, a nice bourbon. If it, if it was if it was sold as a bourbon, I wouldn't have uh, disagreed with it with it at all. I would have thought it was bourbon. But yeah, it's, it is nice. Um, is Irish whiskey good? <laughs> yes, Irish whiskey is good. However, it's good in its own right for me. Uh, I don't think it competes with Scottish whiskey uh, or Scotch. Uh, I've not found one. That I've possibly the Bushmills 10. Uh, I don't have it here, but I'd say Bushmills 10 out of the 10 that I had uh, is definitely the top. It was probably the, the closest to uh, a Scotch. I've had the likes of Teeling before, um, but th this was a good experiment. This was great. Uh, a real lovely gift from Phil, and it was good to try and adapt my senses, my palate to Irish whiskey. So I'd say Bushmills at the top, uh, the Red Breast. 12 year old would be second and this which I've got plenty of left because I want to study it more is the lawn eh, oh no sorry not that one the one that I finished because I enjoyed it too much ah powers 12 year old yeah so Bushmills 10 would be first red breast 12 and then the powers 12 the powers 12 like I said um rather more robust than the other two, uh, kind of, how would you describe, I had more of an oomph than the other two, the, the Bushmills and the Red Breast are quite one dimensional, quite smooth, quite florally, uh, reminiscent of Speyside, uh, of like a, a, a bog standard Macallan or something like that, or a bog standard Alveni, um, any, any of those kind of smooth, florally, fruity whiskies that you get, but yeah, Irish whiskey's good in its own right, but for me, it's got nothing on Scottish whiskey. And I'm sure everybody in Ireland will hate me, and any Irish subscribers that I did have will not be with me any longer. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please hit the subscribe if you liked it. Leave a little comment if you've got any feedback. I've been Stuart, this has been Whiskey Whims. I'll see you later.